Our army is deployed to southern Baldar as we speak. We had best move to jo Good grief. Maester, you are lacking sleep? I am. I had an awfully realistic dream last night. I woke at a terrible hour and could not get back to sleep for the life of me. A dream, you say? What did you dream of? Perhaps... You... dreamt of the Fulga? No, no, no. The Fulga occupies near but all of my waking thoughts. Sleep is my only respite from it. You must be truly devoted to your work for it to be so. Hmm. It's just there is nothing else worth thinking about. Built different though she may be. Built different though she may be. Elena is both a living being and <laughs> getting on my case to march my butt home and the Well then, inviter. The Federation. Ugh. Device allow you to converse with a distant companion? Basically, yeah. But when you get down to the nitty gritty, it's got its limits. Like, if the pod I came here in was in working order, I could use subspace communication with faraway planets. Subspace communications? Useful indeed. Pray, I have one question. If such a thing is possible, then what reason is there to go to such lengths as sending a letter? As I believe you spoke of. Yeah, you're right. I, I did say that, didn't I? No job is too big. Anything from a single letter. All that jazz. Precisely. With such a convenient means of communication, I must say it seems a bit inefficient to limit oneself to ink and paper. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head there. But no matter how advanced our technology gets, I doubt we'll ever run out of clients who want to have the feel of something real in their hands. Like a letter, you know? Is that so? You disagree? I understand the merits of having a written letter in one's possession, certainly. Yet with the technology in your world, I imagine lasting impressions could be left equally as well by other means. Is a sterling example not the map used in the Larkus Wield? Hence why I find it curious that written communication remains yet in use on your world. Sure, but still, there's more to a letter than the sum of its parts. More to a letter? Hmm... I cannot say whether I grasp this concept or not. The world weak never to the... This power is not insignificant.
Are you admiring the sailboats? Sure am. You know, I've spent a lot of time on ships ever since I was a kid. Spaceships out in the stars, that is. Not like these. I never saw real-life sailboats until I came here. They're a pretty rare sight. A ship which travels the stars is a much more unusual sight than this. <laughs> I guess you got a point. You have ridden such a ship, though, yes? Tell me, how did you find the experience? It, uh, had this particular swaying motion that was pretty interesting, but also kind of unnerving. Unnerving? Well, think about it. The sea is totally different from what I'm used to, right? Say something happens during a voyage. Unlike a spaceship, I can't control anything. So, yeah, unnerving. Hang on a sec. Why couldn't I? With my years of experience and finely tuned instincts, I should be able to maneuver a sailboat right out of the gate. Nay, mayhap it best to go slow and learn thoroughly, or put your faith in the experts. You don't think I could do it? No, I do not. <laughs> really? Truly. Hmm. Should the opportunity arise, shall I arrange for you to apprentice under Cousin Theo's guidance? Oh, holy crap! I'm so on board for that! Uh, should the opportunity present itself. <laughs> what matters were the two of you discussing? Hi, Leticia. We were just discussing the prayer spot back at Galka Shrine. Did you know that there were symbols carved into the altar? So, I was talking with Uncle Midas about how maybe people used to offer prayers to these symbols a long time ago. In the past, symbols that transmitted semiomancy were considered as sacred as divine miracles. Though nowadays we do not personally use symbols with semiomancy. Tracing back their lineage, we know that symbols have been included in the Iatromantic system. To put it simply, symbols that heal the human body are known as divine miracles. Whoa! That's Uncle Midas for ya! Well, I learned it from the best, Filberto. What? From my dad? Yes, and the ebullient man never stopped talking about it. So much so, I couldn't help but memorize it. Symbols are divine miracles, huh? Dad used to really say that. Hmm. We had certainly best remember to be grateful, as we have been oft blessed by these very same miracles. Leticia. All things considered, it was a smashing wedding. Um, yes. It was a sight to behold, in a rather literal sense. Although it did not quite have the appropriate air. It was missing something, for sure. <laughs> you will certainly wed your true life partner one day. Consider it a fine dress rehearsal instead. I would prefer not to reference it at all. <laughs> you are probably right. You cannot marry anyway unless you find a groom. In truth, what type of man do you see yourself marrying? This is a matter that will mold the future of Osarius. Uh, oh! Oh, come now. 
I shan't tell a soul. You can speak with Kanda. Uh, mayhap. During times of illness, during times of health? Hm. Always by her side. Isn't there already some? Is she? Boasting? Um, did you say? Oh, no. Ah, I... I think it may. Just what could be caused to sigh like that? I was reflecting upon my actions. Oh dear, again? It is of great import until just recently. I failed to notice Albert's deteriorating condition throughout our entire journey. And who could blame you for that? The boy tried like mad to hide it. And that too gives me pause. Why would he feel the need to hide it from me? Am I such an unreliable presence? No. No, I do not think so. Huh? It was wholly out of his sense of loyalty to you that he tried so hard to conceal his condition. As the boy's superior, you must acknowledge his efforts. Of course, acting to prevent someone from worrying can, on occasion, lead to an equally worrisome predicament in and of itself. I do not know much of man's pride, but I can say that you need not trouble yourself with every small concern. I seem to feel that. Mayhap you are speaking from personal experience? Hmm. Do you believe so? Oh, I am sorry. Was that too forward of me? No harm done. But now you must develop an eye for seeing through false courage. Because that is how people are, no matter their age. That is truly sound advice I will not forget. No matter their age? Are you referring to... Surely that is uncalled for, no? Oh, agreed. It eases my heart to know we once again are free to make our way here. Question for you. Yes, Your Highness. I would like to know your thoughts when I decided to accept. Heavens! This, this is quite the sudden inquiry. Have I asked something unbecoming? You see, I had not consulted with you when I made the decision, no? Hence I ask. Uh, uh, please, Your Highness. I, I, I am but your attendant. Wherefore, I shall abide by your decision. No matter whom you should decide to wed. Hmm. I feel like he is missing the intent of the question I posed forward. Highness? Okay, I see. So, you would comply with any decision I make, hmm? Yes. 
By all means. Well, then... What if I were to... Highness? Oh, nay. Pay me no mind. Thank you, Albert. I appreciate all your support. Oh, certainly. and its people will require much time before the scars this war has left on them might heal. I hope we might at last bring the war to an end and cause them no further pain and suffering. <sighs> I wonder how... Nina? Yep, I can double... You could? Mm, yeah, it was hard, but... Thanks. Well, I certainly would like to sample your cooking one day, Nina. Uh, uh, gee, <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing that you'd find tasty, Leticia. Do not be so sure. If possible, would you please cook for me sometime? Uh, 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 yes, uh, of course I will. Hmm. How about you, Leticia? Have you ever cooked something before? However, it wasn't, although I do desire... Well, in that case... Oh, with you... Not one bit. It just so happens... I... If you don't mind, I would... Yay! <laughs> There is no time left to waste. We must make for Vale the moment preparations are in order. I cannot... <sighs> There's nothing left to be done. What a dull existence. There must be some way to pass the time. Good day, Lady Malkia. <sighs> Your timing is impeccable. I happen to have a favor I must ask. Oh, yes, of course, if it is within my power. Could you tell me a good story? Pardon? You did hear me. Come, tell me something stimulating. Feels like I'm being asked to do something rather challenging. In that case... Here is a frightening story I had heard of recently. Mm. On the darkest night, a man who once worked in an abandoned mine in Delric... And then, the voice bellowed, it was you! Oh, how frightened I was! Hmm. Um, Lady Malkia, mayhaps it was not frightening enough? Your story did enlighten me to something rather important. That would be... Telling frightening stories is simply not your forte. Uh... to settle with the Empire. <laughs> to think 
They were absolutely overwhelming. Attacking from such a high position of victory... No, well, in truth, I did not want to engage her in that. Mr. Ma I totally agree. When this war is... I see it only. Well then, the Folga is... Am I right? <laughs> As the inventor? <laughs> You've got some... Thank you, Ray. Have a score. I assume you two have been acquainted for some. Yes, you could say. That. And she's always been insufferable. Oh, insufferable. What? I must. Ask. I suggest you answer truth. Oh, you appear to get on well, as if you are good friends. I see. Nor could it be something. <laughs> I need to warn you. Yes. Even after. I have heard that Nilbeth... Do any races other than the Trathan abide in this place? At present, yes. Many converge here in Nilbeth as an allied state, but each race typically lives in its own cluster. However, that does not mean we forbid other races to reside here. In fact, Midas and the other wise men sojourned in this very settlement for an extended period. Did they really? Although there are differences between the races, the Trathan are very proactive in interspecies exchange. We Trathan have long been congenial with the Semiomancers of Osarius, partly due to the ancient coil. The fact that I studied abroad in Osarius is also a product of that exchange. And with the Vale Empire, were exchanges conducted as well? Minimal, when compared with Osarius. Because of our race, geography, and history, we tend to ally ourselves with semiomantically developed nations. Though, perhaps that is precisely why we end up attracting attention. I see. In your hour of need, could you not expect reinforcements from the Nilbeth capital? That would be quite difficult, given the circumstances. There are many other races living in Nilbeth's capital besides the Trathan, and the capital's legislative council decides its actions. If the Trathan are the only ones affected by a malady, then the Trathan themselves must attempt to quell the situation first. Only when the situation becomes unmanageable will the capital intervene. These are the unique positives and negatives of Nilbeth's National Assembly. Should your nation change then, so too will your methods. Conversely, if something like this were to happen to the other races, we would behave in the same manner. Though, perhaps now is the time for us to change those customs.
This city and its people will require much time before the scars this war has left on them like... There is no time left to waste. We must make for Vale the moment preparations are in order. Find Bertrand and his men posted outside the gateway to Baldar. Let's head there first. The real battle begins once we have made our way to the Imperial capital, Theo. See to it you are not exhausted before we arrive. I need not be reminded. I could make no graver sin in this moment. Stumble upon the path. Looks like you know how to do it yourself well enough. Of course I do. I didn't come along just to try and move you back. I'm ready to pull my own weight. Don't have to feel like you need to pull any more than that, though. Right, right. Target sighted. It is. The Folga Battalion has begun its assault. Shall we fall back? No, no! I'm not leaving until this whole thing is over with. Not after they tried to execute Leticia. Not after all the trouble they brought to our cities. And definitely not after they unleashed Helgar's disease like that. There's too much at stake to turn away now. Target sighted.
been awaiting you, Your Highness. Status report. No major resistance from the Imperial capital. Our forces are in place. We storm the city on your order, Your Highness. As planned, we will call off the Vanguard in order to minimize casualties among non-combatants. Above all else, we must secure Emperor Bulldor, Prince Gerard, and the three with horns and pale skin. Aye. of Osirius, with me! We make our way now for Castle Vale. I expect the Imperial forces to work fiercely to stop us. We must stay alert and remain guarded. Threat 
Waiting you. Aeon! I welcome you all. Emperor Baldor of the Vale Empire, your days as ruler are at an end. Your son will not be wed to our princess. That no longer matters. Even should the Empire fall this day, Princess Leticia will nevertheless become my daughter. What is he on about? And not only her. All of you before me now will soon become my beloved children. That does not sound like the last deluded words of a man backed into a corner. I agree. That is the response of someone with firm conviction in their words. Prince Gerard, the people have spoken. An accord between Osarius and Vale. Let there be peace between us. Princess Leticia, I... Peace? <laughs> Still, you espouse such naivete. A kingdom and empire are incompatible. This will never change until one or the other is no more! Neon, what is it that has pushed you this far? Osarius ignored the plight of the Empire when the rot ravaged us 15 years ago. Even with just a few of your Iatromancers, my parents, my loving brothers and sisters, would still be with me this day! But... Osarius uh, is not solely to blame! Silence! That forsook not only my family, but even our Empress Tatiana will find no clemency with me! 
As a lord, I must respect the fervor of one who displays such sorrow for my beloved. I ask you grant him opportunity for justice. Neon, come to this. Neon, stop this.
consume with hatred and malice. Do we have to take him out? Something doesn't feel right about this. We went through so much with Naomi. But for it to end like this. To yeah. continue combat.
Leave it to me. 